Our government is creating conditions for trouble that can have dramatic consequences, neglecting youths on the street with no hope, no support, and no future. This is surprisingly coming from Naramadi. Why are you guys still surprised? I mean, every time you see <laughs> something that makes sense, you're always surprised. Yeah, and this is well. not the first time, this is not the second time, this is not the third time, but I'm you're not, not the only I'm one. Not, I'm not Honestly, wired. Honestly, you're not the only one. Maybe I should defend all that, but let me say I'm not wired to deal with dual personalities. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, because everybody will be like, no you understand, let's do that. So I'm family. not wired that way. I'm still getting used to that. <laughs> <laughs> So if uh, what you think? Let's let's not focus on the messenger. Let's focus mm, on the message. So. Okay, so um, I think Mr. Mm. Mr. 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 Nayamali, yes. In, in this case, we'll be yeah, calling him Mr. Mr. Nayamali. <laughs> yes. No, no, Mr. Fizz. Ah. Mr. Fizz, yeah. Mm. Oh, Mr. Fizz. Mm. Okay, okay. I know Mr. Fashola. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think um, what Mr. Fashola said is um, 100% true mm -hmm. because um, if we keep neglecting the youths, this will still um, lead to the increase in crime rates, mm -hmm. increase in fraudulent activities, mm -hmm. increase in um, rape, increase in um, violence, increase in a lot of things. But if you focus on youth empowerment, you put the, um, the youths where they're supposed to be because we see a lot of educated people out there that right now they don't have jobs. Mm. Do you understand? And they're on the street. Every day they are even thinking about they're going to have one square meal, not to even talk of three. Do you understand? And you're not telling me that out of frustration, if somebody comes to that kind of person and say, oh man, I have this deal, or we can rob this place. You, somebody that doesn't have money, of course, an he would think man about is an it. Angry man. He would, mm -hmm. As in, even if he's not wired that way, there's no way he won't think, as in, he would have a second thought. Tempted. Do you understand? He would be tempted. But let's focus on youth empowerment. Now, we keep picking up people, SARS keep arising people, like, let's bring the Ibadan issue into this now. Mm. A lot of people were picked up from the club. Now, this is somebody, these are people that are making legitimate money that you don't even know. But you pack them together. Now, like, um, you made a valid point that their HR was probably watching. Mm. And some of them would lose their jobs over this. And we know, we all know how difficult it is to Get find a job. a job in this country. So imagine I lose my job to that. I'll be very upset. I'll be very angry. Now, if we're talking about youth empowerment, we're talking about this same cabals. We started this not too young to run bill and then you people shut it down completely we don't even have enough young people still in power do you understand which is something that would have helped a lot of people because that's if they actually do their jobs mm. right because some people were doing it for clout and just to also be part of the system do you understand but the ones that were really genuine with their intentions would have done a lot of youth empowerment for a lot of <laughs> Hmm? Were you a debater in secondary school? Why? <laughs> Try to convince and not confuse. Were you? Did you, did you try? I was a smart kid, Sha. Yeah. But you were not a debater. Mm. I was a smart kid. So for me, what Daramal is saying, I feel like it's off the back of the recent conversation. I can't remember who started it, but it's about this um, small boys that you see on the streets mm, um, begging. begging in traffic. At every traffic lights. And someone was saying the government needs to do something them about the street, them. Yeah. Do we have that facility to take them out? If we don't, can we start building it and take them off the street? Because they being there and growing on the streets is going to breed something that will come back to hurt us. Even we we, we feel we are in our cars let, and let, I, I mean, know, let me explain better. Moving, they are very day, young right now. Mm -hmm. It's easy for them to, you know, beg for money, try to, you know, clean your car and then you pay them. But when they go older, they'll be ashamed of what they are doing. Mm -hmm. And the next thing they will up for is stealing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next thing they will up for but, is but, but dragging your dragging phone, your phone, your phone picking up. Yeah. Already they harass you. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to give them? They will start telling you things like, yeah. like things feel like you don't get. The feel they are begging is, it comes with entitlement. So once yeah. they beg you, you have to give them. But another thing is, um, we can't wait for the government for everything. It starts with you and I. I know somebody that um, 
is taking these kids off the streets one after the other because um, to pay for a government school tuition mm. for you to go to secondary school is not that expensive. Maybe part time you're paying like five thousand. Yeah, there. but you know sometimes it's I mean, more I need like to the wish you there has to be shelter. Aside you know, that, you cannot just I get them that. to school and not keep them somewhere. Where are they? Where Honestly, they aside, I get what you're saying. People and people trust me. There are so many people out there doing, doing it. In yeah. Yeah. But the point is. The people that are supposed to be responsible for this thing, we need to call them out and make them they know that this has to be done. They from the from the onset. Oh, we'll we'll, 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 I mean, if we don't stop talking so about it, the only way that this government or this people will start being responsible is when we have a change in that okay, system. I remember when um, Fashola was the governor mm. of Lagos State. Mm. Gio, you that was that's a legend. That was um, when this whole taking the beggars off the streets really mm. happened, mm. and there was a facility where most of them were taken to. If they couldn't, let me use the word that was used, then deport you <laughs> back to your state mm. and all that, or you were really a minor. Mm. They had those facilities. Now, mm. I, I don't know well, how don't functional know those facilities are right mm. now, and if anybody is paying attention, but at the time, we saw a level of reduction in the number of beggars mm. on the streets. I mean, it was way worse than this. So, it's not like they don't know what to do. It's not like it's, it's not even like the blueprint is not there. But we need somebody to start getting this somebody jobs honest. done. Hmm. You know, somebody very honest because I'm sure even if the governor says okay, this so -so -so amount should be used for this particular project, mm -hmm. the point is it won't be done because somebody just wants to have all that money to themselves alone. Which is why alone. I said that until we change the current people in power, nothing will change. Do you understand? So we're just praying and hoping that someday mm. they would give the youth a chance to get in power. Um, well. I don't think it's just about the youth. Mm. Even, the, even in power now, there, there's a good number of young people in power. I think and we all need number, to begin to I flush out the, the corruption in our system. Yeah, on a, uh, Not even just system, system now, ourselves. Like, mm. we are beginning to see um, corrupt practices as the mm. norm, and that is where our problem really lies right now. I remember one of the one-on-one -on -one conversation I had with someone on Plus TV here, and mm. he was saying that he doesn't even expect that Buhari will just be able to flush out corruption because it is ingrained. Like it is, mm. it is now in our DNA. We don't see anything wrong in things that I are mean, when, to be when wrong. We see it as survivor. We believe as nothing yeah. goes for nothing. No, mm. I know, I apart from that, word. I think when is when he, when you're the one doing it, it's favor. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. favor. It's when someone else is doing it, it's corruption. it's corruption. That's the problem. So hopefully, okay. I'm glad that someone like Naramali is picking up mm. on this. Someone like Mr. Fashela, you mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So hopefully there will be. A, I know there will be a change because we're, we're getting there. Yeah. It can't happen once, but with time we'll get there.